Hello, my name is Eamon and uh, I will be showing you today throughout this tutorial how to download the parts you need to start working with IOU Web VM on a VMware Workstation 10 which I'm using on uh, Windows 8.1 so starting with the links first link uh, you need to enter a password which is poison there poison and bam and go so you can go ahead and download the file on this website you're gonna need to use Facebook or Google Plus account so choose whatever and do the same for the other two files uh, all three links will be uh, available under the video so uh, for now just watch when the uh, all three downloads are done you'll be getting these three files here so using 7-zip extract after that you will get this folder right here <coughs> so a manifest file to the MDK files and the OVF so double clicking on the OVF file is the simplest thing because it's just bam there. So call it whatever you want and choose the path for your virtual machine and import. You will get this. So by default, it's uh, the VM is configured to run on, on a relatively high performance PC, but you can retune it to lower if you if you need to do so <coughs> so the uh, memory actually it only depends on how many routers and switches you're gonna be using your labbing if you are only using two or three routers let's say and you want to assign 250 uh, 256 megabytes for each one gigabyte is really enough to run the whole thing so uh, for the sake of testing, I'm gonna I'm gonna choose two gigs processors. I use only one processor with one core. Some people use two, but try not to use more than one core, because I've seen a few people complain about some weird errors and complications they get when they do so. So uh, keep it one core each. Uh, network adapters the uh, it is set so that you can update the uh, images the uh, IOU web virtual machine machine is, is using I don't really use that but I keep those uh, two net uh, network adapters for the uh, so that you can access the IOU web using a web browser which will be shown later on uh, if you need to add other interfaces, you want you if you want to link them to a uh, virtual network, so just choose a network adapter. And same old trick for uh, for VMware. Choose whatever and add. Okay, uh, let's say we're gonna be using this VM machine as it is, and power on. Okay, as you see, it's it's built upon a light version of CentOS. It's stripped off almost everything you don't need except for the basic running uh, of the OS and networking, plus the uh, binary files you will be needing for the uh, routers and switches, plus. An alternative to uh, IOU to web, IOU to net, excuse me, which is the uh, IOU Live 86. So, because we have because of the uh, NAN inter NAT interface you have, you will be getting a uh, an IP address. So, uh, to log in, root password is Cisco. So. You there are only a few things you might be using here. One of which, uh, one of which is uh, 
uh, IP link show is you need to see the uh, MAC addresses in case you need them to point out which Ethernet uh, NIC you will be using. So apart from that, copy this address 192.168.30.138 192.168.30.138 and there there are a lot of labs pre-built into it you can look online to see the uh, workbooks for it so uh, knock yourself out to create a new lab give it a name test1 description also test also time minutes rtc0 description and net map let's say we need three routers router one on interface 0 slash 0 link to router 2 interface 0 slash slash 0 Oops. and router 1 is also linked to router 3 and router 2 is linked to router 3 also 3 and there so add let's give it a rate uh, let's give them names router 1 iOS. So these are the iOS versions you have. So let's choose the uh, 15, 12, 2, 4, 1. Well, actually, the same thing for all three of them. And R2 and R3. Well, I'll give them 256 each. It's already preset to wait for megabytes. And VRAM, 28 kilos. Mm -mm. Uh, okay, so for each Ethernet you choose, if I choose one here, it's not one Ethernet uh, plug, it's actually a card holding four. So, four ports for each one you choose here. Same thing for the serial. So, we don't need serials here. I'll just use Ethernet for the sake, for the sake of testing. And choose a picture. These are all routers, so there, router. Using the other labs you have, uh, the ones we, we just shown you, uh, you can choose an initial config if you select one of these, and yeah, oh, there, an initial config. We're not going to be using that, but you can. Save. Test. Uh, there, it shows you the diagram with the proper ports. Save positions. Okay, so to start working on them, you need to fire them up. So, start all devices. The log is here, downloads, and logs if you need to check out any errors you might find oops labs test devices and there okay uh, there's supposed to be a uh, registry file you need to uh, modify a bit so that when you click on the uh, open router console here it opens PuTTY or secure CRT depending on what you choose but if you just hover over the button you see here on bottom left on your screen telnet the IP address 2001 which is the port assigned to this router to the second 2002 and 2003 so what I do is just open secure CRT and connect directly oops connect directly to that address using telnet on 192.168.30.138 port is 
songs in and one. There. And it's open. I don't need the initial config. Same thing for the other router. To connect. Nope. Okay, it's ready. Let's try a, a simple ping test here. Terminal interface. So I can add this. Let's say ten one one one. No shutdown. And ten one one two for the other router. Interface. Uh, IP address ten one one two. Oh, Ethernet mask I used. Okay. And no shutdown. And so, yes, you can save all your work. And let's try and ping the other. Louder. And there, ding ding. And that's it. This is just a simple introduction of what you can do. So, um, using the other LANs, you can do whatever you want. And of course, create your own. Uh, okay, thank you for your attention. If you like this video, please subscribe and like. Bye.